Hello again everyone, Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Big Climb by Everything Everything. As always, this song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers, so if you would like to request something, just leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to add it to my list. And hey, while you're down there, might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check the description where you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. All right, so, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever heard anything from this artist. Although, actually, maybe I have, because I've heard my wife talk about them uh, before, I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I want to make sure I turn my headphones on. Cool, got it. Uh, yeah, I've heard my wife talk about this band uh, a little bit. So, I mean, I've, I've maybe heard something here or there as she's, you know, listening to it. I guess I should say I've never sought out their music on my own before. <laughs> so, <laughs> I say we jump right in. Again, this is Big Climb. Everything, everything. I grabbed the music video, so, you know, it might get blocked. I might have to put something here instead, but it's worth a shot. Here we go. Poor polar bear. 
So the the lead singer's voice definitely sounded familiar. So again, I've probably heard my wife listening to this at some point. I, I know she likes this band. She's mentioned them before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I, I kind of dug that. And I'm really glad that I got to watch the music video along with it uh, because I feel like it really illustrated um, what the song was about. So I say we, we dive into the lyrics here like we always do because, I mean, I, I think there's definitely much to talk about. Hope you guys were able to see the music video. Most likely not, just because, you know, the, the music videos always seem to get blocked for me. So, anyway, let's see. Big Climb, it says here, is a fast-paced banger about how humanity's technological innovations will be our downfall as anthropogenic climate change makes the Earth unsustainable to human life. But it's not all doom and gloom, Jonathan Higgs told Big Issue North, that changing attitudes and young environmentalists give him a bit of hope. We all have to deal with it, and no one wants to. But they give me more more hope than I had 15 years ago because climate change is something that's always been on my mind and at least now that's at the forefront of young people's minds. I don't care what actions they take, they can mess up my day if they get people talking about it. And so here look global temperature in the common era and so you can kind of see the and this is a direct measurement after 1880 like industrial revolution times, right? So I think um what people always argue is that like the climate is supposed to naturally uh you know hit peaks and valleys and shift like this and it's it's there's some truth to that that you can see here that it goes up and down up and down up and down but the trend from the 1880s is that it goes up and down but while continuing to climb higher each time so yeah you can you can definitely see it here uh the big climb in question is unfortunately not stonks. The song was originally intended to be the big return single for a reanimator, but some of the lyrics were deemed inappropriate and too negative in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. Despite this, the song was used in an ad campaign called Billboard, Billboard Positive. And this billboard here says the choice is to be a slave to the big time champagne cork in your windpipe. I thought he said something else besides cork. <laughs> I'm glad it's cork. And weigh a whole ton or be the curved glass in a desert full of sun. Are you burning? We can burn it together. First, we have to play God. And, you know, I I definitely got the that sense from the lyrics. And one more thing here. It says this song is a banger. Why wasn't it the lead single? John, uh, singer Jonathan Higgs stated in an Instagram Live Q&A with fans that In Bird Song was never intended to be Reanimator's lead single. They had another one lined up and ready to go when the COVID-19 pandemic gave the lyrics some unfortunate implications. When asked how bad they were, he answered, depending on your sensitivity, couldn't get much worse, to be, to be honest. He quickly clarified that they don't mean what they sound like. They maybe mean and that the matter had been discussed quite heavily. Uh, I think we get the point at this point. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I agree mostly with, with this person's interpretation of the lyrics. The one thing that I disagree with is where he it talks about humanity's technological innovations will be our downfall. I think I think the song and, you know, with the help of the music video was critiquing something else entirely. I think it was more so critiquing um, capitalism and corporations and, uh, you know, profit driven. That's why, you know, the client, the, the shots of the climate disaster were juxtaposed with like smiling people in an office, you know, staplers and highlighters and, uh, stock reports and whatever else. I think it was more so that because of capitalism, because of greed, because of wealth, that we refuse to do anything to to handle the climate. And so to me, again, that's where I would disagree with this person's interpretation. So anyway, let's take a quick look at the lyrics. I mean, we've kind of already uh, touched on what the song was about, but big climb, big fall. I saw my picture in the crystal ball, big climb, big fall, the pink piggies with their hands in their ears. And there it is right there, right? So, you you know, with tech, I guess technology has something to do with it. I'm not, you know, taking any all the blame off technology but essentially you know when you have soaring profits when you have all this technology all this advancement it's a huge climb right but eventually it's going to have to come down and we're kind of seeing that right now and then you know things like pigs are typically synonymous with like people who are greedy right so the pink piggies with their hands in their ears not listening to the science skeleton boy with a skeleton girl souvenir uh this is the prophecy 10th daughter of a beast heart mother you know that all our lives in in your hands now, all our lives in your hands now. Ice flows quicken, drip feed dripping in your eye socket under the hoax moon. I don't mean to get weird now, but I know what we are. So essentially saying like, yeah, you can see it in front of you, but it's still being ignored. 
just one thing, not afraid that it'll kill us. Yeah, we're afraid that it won't. And and again, it, the, it's perfect that the song, song is called Big Climb and that lyric is, you know, Big Climb, Big Fall because it's like, yeah, it's almost like falling off of a, of a huge height. It's like, I'm not afraid that this is going to kill me. I'm afraid that it won't kill me and I'll be just severely maimed for the rest of my life. Um, same with like the impending climate disaster, right? It's like, I'm not afraid that climate change will kill me. I'm, a, I'm afraid that it won't. And then I'll have to live in this climate disaster that we've created for ourselves. Uh, so just one thing, not afraid that it'll kill us. Yeah, we're afraid that it won't led to another. Uh, not afraid that it'll kill us. Yeah, big climb, big fall. I saw us dying in the crystal ball. Was a big climb, big fall. The gas crawling like the ghost of the sea. You can be a drone or the god killer bee that I love. Uh... Uh, this is the prophecy, tenth son of a beast, heart father, the choices. I'm not sure what all this is about, tenth son of a beast, beast and tenth, I think, daughter of a beast, I forget what he says. But um, maybe something biblical, I don't know, maybe some sort of like uh, apocalypse type thing. To be a slave to the big time champagne cork in your windpipe and weigh a whole ton to be the curved glass in a desert full of sun. Are you burning? We can burn it together. First, we have to play God. Interesting. So I'm, I wonder if this is what he was talking about, where like young people or people have to just come forward and just say, hey, enough is enough. Let's, you know, turn this thing around. Uh, just one thing, not afraid that it'll kill us. Yeah, we're afraid that it won't lead to another, not afraid that it'll kill us. Yeah. Yeah, you seem to get it dancing on the ocean floor. There's a light on the horizon dancing on the ocean floor. And the birds started singing dancing on the ocean floor. It's an infinite morning. And I think that's part, the, the infinite morning part is that it's this eating it's so hot. It's always going to be hot like, like a day, you know, like daytime. Uh, we are one thing, not afraid that it'll kill us. Yeah, we're afraid that it won't let to another kill us. Yeah, uh, we are one thing, led to another kind of goes on like that for some time you get the idea so yeah i think we pretty uh, adequately covered what the song was about i think lyrically obviously this is a very timely subject it's a very real reality that we are facing even if some people don't want to admit the science you know lyrically i thought it was well written as well so uh give it two thumbs up why not uh as far as the instrumentation and vocals go you know that this guy this guy the lead singer has an interesting voice um i kind of like it i kind of it's still kind of um growing on me a little bit uh but overall i like his vocal delivery i really liked that first verse in the song where it was a little bit more fast paced with the vocal delivery um before he kind of slowed it down I, but but i did enjoy the harmonizing throughout so wish you would have kept a faster pace kind of throughout the entire song but yeah, i'm grateful for what we got at the very least um instrumentally you know I, I thought it was it was it was a fun set like jam session type song where it was like it wasn't fast paced for me i know this this person talked about it being a fast paced banger or whatever uh, to me it was like all right i mean it's okay definitely not fast paced by my standards uh, and i i almost wish it was a little bit more fast paced like i said with that vocal delivery at the beginning i wish there was some faster paced instrumentation throughout as well um, but there was a part um in the song where i don't know if it was synthesizer or what it was um, but they had like a nice little run with it. You know, the pattern, the pattern really worked for me. And I want to say it was like near the end of the song, but man, I, I dug that part a lot. It was very subtle, but, um, I really like how they approached that. So I think instrumentally it could be a little bit stronger vocally. I think it was, it was pretty good. So overall, I'll give it a thumb up instrumentally and vocally. And then as far as replay value goes, I mean, this was a fun listen. I will say I've always enjoyed when artists can take like dark subject matter and make a sort of fun sounding song around it. Um, and I think they did just that with this one. So that already gets some appeal for me. Uh, but again, the vocal performance I thought was fine. Uh, the instrumentation I thought was pretty good. Um, and the lyrics, again, very timely, very relevant. So I, I think this has a place on my playlist. You know, I, I think this is also a song that will really benefit from a second listen. So got to put it on the playlist for now. Hopefully it comes up and we can listen to it a few more times. So for now, one thumb up for replay value. Overall, yeah, pretty good song. A pretty good song. So uh, definitely uh, enjoyed it. Thank you so much for the request. As always, if you want to request something, just leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to add it to my list. And like I said, while you're down there, you can hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, you know, check the description to find links to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. And hey, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. And well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.